Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at an app for iOS called Jigspace. Uh, Jigspace, uh, how the developer defines it, uh, it's a platform to explore and share interactive 3D knowledge for everything. In other words, uh, Jigspace allows you to see a step-by-step -step interactive 3D breakdown of a complex idea, product uh, or phenomenon. In order to understand how they happen, operate or work, uh, that interaction happens right in front of you using augmented reality. It's a great app to learn uh, how everyday stuff works uh, and be able to make it easier to understand things uh, with that could have been uh, much more complicated to learn uh, using other learning methods. Now it's worth mentioning that I've already uh, made an editorial review on my blog on October 19th, uh, 2017. Uh, uh, however, I've decided to revisit this app again in order to see what changes. So uh, some things have uh, changed, uh, but overall the feature that I was um, expecting to have most is actually missing and this is the ability to uh, allow users to create their own jigs um, and from what i'm seeing inside the app uh, it says that it's coming soon so we can expect this feature to be released um, soon and you can agree with me when you look at this app this app is supposed to be social from the start but this is a good start to check things uh, but it has to be social uh, the reason, the main reason for that, and I don't know the developer side, but it takes a lot of time and effort and money in order to make thousands, even tens of thousands of uh, jigs, right? It's all 3D models, very detailed 3D models, and you need to make sure that everything is nailed correctly, and not every model you can buy on the uh, uh, um, on 3D stores, 3D model stores, and they are not cheap. So the best way to do this is open up, open the app up, so to, uh, to allow... Um, users to create their own jigs by themselves and upload it to the uh, jig library. So you can see uh, this is a quadcopter, so this jig explains how the remote controlled quadcopter works. And what I like about this uh, learning tool is that, you know, first of all, it's a very simplified presentation. Uh, the 3D presentation looks really clean. Uh, different parts are colored and animated to help differentiate between uh, them and, uh, and therefore ease uh, their understanding of complex things. Um, just imagine trying to show a person how a car engine works or how a coffee machine works uh, with real objects. Uh, with a 3D model, uh, you can do that uh, in a very clean and very accurate manner. The thing is, here, uh, things are straight to the point. Uh, you're not going to be very, very educated like an engineer in how quadcopters work or how to design them. Uh, this app was designed to give you general knowledge about things. Uh, and, you know, in some way, it does it really, really well because um, you can actually just get you know, read a few lines and you get the idea how things work instead of reading very long articles and even sometimes not understanding what you need to search for or where the information is. Uh, and you just, just say to yourself, ah, enough of this. Uh, this just move on and here you can really understand things in like a, like a minute or two you get a good knowledge and understanding how things work so here you can see this is NASA insight uh, you know I, I've seen it you know on the web with pictures but here it's nothing better than just having the option to move around it and see it in 3d uh, and it's very detailed model as you can see uh, we can also enlarge it resize it um, spin it around uh, rotate it by just using swipe motions uh, and again, you just step forward in order to move on to the uh, next explanation. Uh, if you miss something, you can press backwards. It's very simple um, uh, and very easy to understand. Here I enable notification because I want to be notified when I, uh, the feature to create your own jigs is available. Actually, I'm interested to see how they're going to do this, whether they allow people to import their own 3D models. Maybe there are some uh, 3D um, modeling uh, software built in, so we can actually use maybe primitive shapes or maybe some complex shapes in order to create uh, you know, something new, a new object, and uh, inject explanation about it. Now, as you can see, the library uh, isn't... Uh, huge. Uh, you can see you scroll left and right and they change the UI from the first version, uh, but it's still limited. That's why they need them to make this uh, open up uh, uh, for other users uh, to create their own jigs. Here's like a jig, how a battery works. Very simple. Sometimes I just wanted, to, I always wanted to understand, to know how a battery works, but always delayed it. I said to myself, I'm too lazy to search for it. I have so other things to do. And here, you know, I just tap and I know that I'm going to get an answer that I'm going to understand in like a minute. And that's it. 
Uh, and the visualization part is really impressive. Uh, some people like myself understand better when they see things rather than when uh, it's written or spoken. Uh, so visualization um, uh, is a really great way to help people understand things. Um, I can imagine being able to quickly and efficiently understand how a uh, lock works, for example, without a visual explanation. Uh, the visualization also leads to deep mental involvement uh, immersion. So it really looks beautiful in augmented reality uh, and I enjoy every moment uh, using this app. Here you can see NASA's lunar landing and it's a very detailed model, so it's going to be open up and you can see the inner parts and uh, where actually the astronauts uh, were located. Uh, it's very interesting. Now, Jigspace is a superb learning tool with a huge potential, especially when the, um, the ability to uh, create your own jigs will uh, be available. However, uh, you can also think about this type of app a bit forward uh, when you have uh, mixed reality glasses. Uh, of course, we're gonna, uh, if we have this type of uh, functionality, it will be great, but I want also to have the option uh, to combine it with um, uh, computer vision in order for uh, mixed reality glasses to detect objects in the real world and allow people to attach um, their own explanation of things world for things all around us. For example, a jig like uh, the one that you're going to see now, Earth, uh, this is something that you need to create with 3D model and of course you can go out to space uh, maybe in the future, uh, but of course you can see this, things like this. Actually, I want to be an astronaut and have the option to view an augmented reality app that actually show this, what you see here, on the real Earth from out of space. This would be amazing. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about is um, uh, the thing is that when you walk out in the street, for example, and see a truck, so somebody can create a jig for this specific model, truck model, or when you go and see like um, uh, a computer store uh, and uh, there's some gadget there and you want to know how they work, you can actually be able to do this because a user will be able to create uh, jigs for things that are actually uh, there in the real world. And even if the product is not going to be there, like, let's say the next day, uh, the app should recognize it um, and create a kind of signature that it recognizes the images uh, when you see it in another location and it can present uh, the jig and the instructions, how, the, how things work, uh, no matter where the user is. This is all based on image recognition. So in general, what I mean is that uh, this app uh, having uh, how things work, uh, instructional, uh, presentations alongside with general knowledge, um, textual, visual explanation of things uh, can uh, help uh, this app to become like kind of a mobile Wikipedia uh, for mixed reality uh, that can work beautifully to explain things, uh, allow the user to get general, general knowledge about all the things around them. And just imagine who wouldn't use this type of app, right? Think about it, you can get answers about anything around you and you know, even ask how a certain thing works. I mean, this is amazing. I would use it every day, every single day, maybe uh, maybe several times a day uh, for things that I'm interested to knowing more about. And when I get home, I know that I got knowledge, a lot of knowledge, what I usually don't get uh, you know, on, uh, here without this type of, um, of um, uh, app and uh, hardware. Now what you see here uh, is actually the first version um, of the of Jig Space. Uh, the UI changed; it looks more beautiful. Uh, with um, subjects are very clear on the left side. You can actually scroll uh, left and right, so it just looks better in general. Uh, the main functionality here is the same as the latest version. Uh, again, nothing wrong with this. It just is very clean. Uh, this is very good for augmented reality uh, because you can actually emphasize looking at the things. Uh, that matters the most and this is the, the 3D model and the textual information uh, on the screen and everything else is just very minimalistic and how it should be. Uh, now Jigspace uh, is one of my highest rated uh, augmented reality apps uh, that are reviewed on aircritic.com um, and again this is an app that I think everyone should download and try it out. Uh, the potential is still you know is huge and uh, I just want it to be realized. And I do hope uh, the developer is going to release it soon. Why I'm saying that I'm positive that it's going to happen is because uh, I've read that um, uh, Jigspace uh, just uh, passed uh, the 1 million uh, uh, user base. So they have tons of users. So <laughs> uh, people enjoy it. It's very, it's ranked very high and you know what is, 
you have everything you know that you need in order to continue and expanding upon the promise of this app. The users are just waiting for you, uh, not just to release new jigs, to allow them to create their own jigs. I mean, I want to create my own jigs. I'm telling you, I have so many great ideas uh, to create things for. Uh, but I need this feature. So, uh, but I'm positive that this will come. Uh, the, the app is continuously being updated um, on a regular basis, so it's not something that you know the developer just dropped. So overall, download this app, go and download it and try it out uh, and uh, just keep it installed and let's hope that uh, this update is going to come soon. Uh, if you enjoyed this video guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe um, and also visit my Instagram channels and follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter and also, also have a Facebook page, so search for AR Critic and you're going to find it. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. So peace. Bye bye.